in, say, I don't know, the UK and Australia at the same time. Now, I'm in Tacoma, so I can't really, you know, do, do any sort of visual footage like that by myself. You know, and I thought to myself, you shouldn't be able to see the sun from those two locations at the same time because at some point the sun's going to be behind the curvature of the earth, right? So I thought to myself, self, you've made a few friends over the last couple of months. Last four or five months or so. I've made some friends uh, across this flat plain. So I thought to myself, you know, I know a guy in the UK, my buddy Matt, and I know a guy in Australia my buddy Luke so I decided to give him a call and let me tell you a little story actually I won't tell you about it I'll just show you what happened and here we go hey Matt how's it going yeah good fantastic all right uh just doing a time check about what time is it where you are 2103 so you're three minutes past nine Three minutes past nine. Uh, here, what, what's your location, sir? Uh, uh, how about West Yorkshire? I think. In Bradford. Oh. Right then, Bradford, West Yorkshire. There you go. And there's proof. Bradford. Keith Lee, Brickhouse, Bradford. Fantastic. All right. Uh, let me see. About 903, Bradford, Yorkshire. Uh, let me see. Here, where, where is the sun? Right about then. Where is now, Dale, mate? It is just in the distance. It's just over the hill. You can see it just about in the distance there. All right. That's all. Awesome. see it. Beautiful sunset. So it's just about over the hill, but you may have to raise that still. Yep. And, and behind me, you've got darkness. That's awesome. Here, I'm uh, in Tacoma, Washington right now. Check it. I got the Tacoma Dome back behind me in the distance. And then That's you can it. see the uh, Tacoma skyline back here over the city. So that's where I'm at. And we're looking at the same sun. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, well, I appreciate you participating in this project. And uh, no hey. that's fine. Thank you, sir. You have a fantastic night. I'll see you soon. Stay fine. My man, Luke. How's it going? Yep. Fantastic, sir. Uh, here, about what time is it? Uh, it's 6.06 a.m. 6.06 a.m. And what's your location, sir? I am in a small town called Villawila in central Queensland, Australia. I'm standing outside the Calide Valley Lions Park on um, the corner of the Dawson Highway and Cooper Street. Awesome. That's fantastic. All right, so that's the time, location. Yeah. And you can and see the sun out there. It's about sun, so sunrise. The sun, I'm in a bit of a valley, but the sun's just coming up uh, over to the, I, from memory, I think it's about northeast, about 60 degrees. Uh, that's just off the top of my head, but. <laughs> <laughs> All good. All right. Uh, sounds good. I am currently in Tacoma, Washington. Got the sun right above my head right here, as you can see. I got the Tacoma skyline in my background over here, as you can see also, uh, and the world famous Tacoma Dome in the distance. So that's my location. So yeah, man, uh, I'd like to thank you for your participation in this project. Uh, I'll talk to you a little bit later, buddy. No worries. Notice the nice, nice uh, shadow on the moon up there behind me. Also. Oh, you got the moon too. That's sick. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. Take care. All talk right, soon. Luke. Stay flat. You too. Yes, sir. Always. All right. Later. Editor's note.
Graphical representation provided to us by the trusted scientific community always shows half the Earth receiving light from the sun, which on a globe Earth that rotates approximately every 24 hours, we should expect there to be a definitive 12-hour allowance for all points on the Earth that receive the sun's light. You just saw the sun at 9.03 p.m. and 6.03 a.m. This signifies a 15-hour period of illumination, which is not consistent with the heliocentric model. So you were able to see right there in that video that the sun was visible from the west coast of the UK in Yorkshire, England. You were able to see that the sun was rising on the east coast of Queensland, Australia. You were able to see that the sun was above my head here in Tacoma at 1.03 in the afternoon. Now I want to ask you, do you believe that's possible on a globe? I mean, the sun should have been hidden behind the curvature on one of these places, right? It shouldn't have been visible in all three places at the same time. But it was. So what does that tell you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Earth is flat. You've been lied to. At this point, I encourage you to spread this information with everyone that you know as quickly as possible because this is a big deal. This may be the biggest revelation uh, that needs to be uncovered in this world. We've been misled about the whole structure, the whole nature of our reality. And that's all I got for this video.